Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining and talking about what a home lab is, why you should have one, and why everybody in the world should have one. So the purpose of building a home lab is to build a so-called IT enterprise environment for your devices and networks, and the purpose of doing that is to trial any ideas you might have, and just to see what works and what doesn't work. And the beauty of a home lab in your home, obviously, is in the event something goes wrong or something breaks, it doesn't matter. You can just delete that virtual machine or that container and just restart. And like, if that was to happen in a IT company, I said, well, there goes your job, servers are down, they're losing money, and you're left with no job. So like, the purpose of the home lab is to build those IT skills and to get that type of experience you may use in the future for your IT career and so you actually have an understanding and an a idea of what's going on and how things work and all that type of stuff and even like my main purpose for the home lab was because it was fun to do it's cool to have and it's cool, cool to show off and say so you've got this server this server this server and just to show it off to people and it's just fun to do really as I said, like if you break any files or config files, backup files, or things go missing, it just it doesn't matter. It's in your home. It's on your, on your network. Nothing matters at all. And it's just a simple restart. Create the new virtual machine or container, and off you go. And my other main purpose I recommend for home labs is you can host your own services, like your ad blockers and even websites out to the network and out to people around the world, if it's done properly, of course. And you can host anything and everything as I host my own cloud servers for all my file backups and photo backups and, and all, all that type of stuff. And it's just, for a home network, I feel more better having 100% control about it and having 100% privacy and I know everything that's going on and no one else can see unless I give them permission to. Another thing is as far as a resume goes for IT jobs I recommend documentation meaning you record everything you've done and do in your home lab with all details and that just can count towards certain types of experiences that can go on a IT resume and if you don't actually have the experience in IT you can use that home lab experience as work related experience on your CV or resume. And then finally, it's just it's for fun. So it's better than your old style combo switch router and it just looks awesome in your house. Give or take there's a your power bill is a bit more dearer, but you gotta take the bad with the good. But what you can create is awesome. And I know this was a very quick video and explanation, but this is what I recommend to anyone, and I do think everybody should have one or try and build one. Just start small, start small and build up. It's quite amazing what you can do and what you can create. Dale suave cuando baje. Baje, 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 baje. Baje, 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 baje. Baje, 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 baje. 